Um, and this is the part of the show where I try to find us. How are we Oh, let's do a vibe check. You ready for the vibe check? No, nah, hold on. Let me find us first. Oh, my uh, microphone. Oh, we have to 2.8. Thousand that person be part of my ugly group. Okay, y'all. Clearly, I don't be in here. We are we going up, Jay? We going up, Jay. Um, I swear I we don't ever pop up when I'm looking for us. Hi, found it, bitches. Right, hold on. Let me actually click on it and make sure we're muted. Ha! Nope, we are not muted. All right, I'm back. I always look so blurry. I gotta work on this. I need to get a better camera or something. Are you talking? Do I look blurry? No. <laughs> But I'm like looking at on, on my laptop and like, first of all, this light is way too fucking bright. I look like life camera action. Have you three minutes? I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Okay, you got all the songs today. You can hear me? Yes, ma'am. You ready for the vibe shake? <laughs> <laughs> we will see. You, first of all, you know I don't know that many lyrics to that many songs, so this should be interesting. Okay. Everybody know the queen getting down dirty. I was like, I bet she do little Kim today. <laughs> uh, but this isn't the one I know all the words to. We, but we went through this. Everybody know the queen getting down dirty. Driving I don't know. Be like the 730. It ain't no secret. Rumors, Rumors that you can keep it. You know, there's only one ghetto queen with a guillotine. Real bitch that care got by the spleen. Now, you know I mean? What I mean, some bitches on the other line. Answer that. If it's a booty call, cancel that. You want pure satisfaction. I'm going to handle that. All I need is a candle and a porno channel. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Vibe check a success today. Every time I Kim, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Every time I spit a little Kim first, it is clear to me why my mother ripped the ribbon out of my shit. <laughs> it's clear. I'm not quite I'm sure. sure. I feel like she's just very descriptive about her act, you know, afternoon activities. <laughs> All I need is a candle and a portal channel. Yeah. Lubricate the top. Now I'm starting to sweat. Pill my Gucci, Gucci cheese back, back so they so don't, they don't get, get wet. Yeah, she doesn't want to spill her sprite. <laughs> she don't want to spill her sprite on her. You know, um, when that song came out, I had some Fendi sheets, so I would change that to oh, put my God. Fendi sheets back. <laughs> ha! We have little kid be sure to bring the nuts out you. Imagine, Imagine me sucking blood out you. you. Whoa, Kim. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she says she's a throw goat. Like Nancy. Like Nancy or better than Nancy? I don't know. She might be a little bit better than Nancy. We had to talk, we had to talk about Nigga. that today. Well, Nancy being the throw goat. Is Nancy on your list? <laughs> she is not. I completely forgot about uh throat baby Nancy. Nancy, not on you. <laughs> With the gop, gop, 5,000. Not Nancy fucking Reagan. She's 97. What is wrong with y'all? Is still alive? Who? Is she? she I got have no idea. I don't think so. <laughs> wait, so y'all can be. Y'all digging be. up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Y'all dig look this up. Y'all are dig digging up Nancy's whole facts. And she's dead. Cause she's a legend. Y'all bring it. Legendary. Y'all bring it. Legendary throat goat. Y'all are bringing Nancy up on charges and she's dead. So yeah, she died in 2016. I was like, I couldn't remember. I could have sworn that I saw her shit on TV. Look. Listen, y'all better leave Nancy. The original. The original baby. 
y- please don't bring up my whole facts after I done passed away. Please, you want to bring up my whole facts, bring them up now. Like, do not wait till I've been dead for five years to be like, y'all know Crystal was wild. Like legendary, legendary. <laughs> Nancy fucking breaks the throat goat. Fuck Corinne hey. Stephens. Fuck all this. Hey man, there's always got to be the first. <laughs> So she was the first lady and the first throat goat. Um, <laughs> and she got her a husband. Please, please y'all, don't That's bring why I'm still single. I'm not a throat goat. Well, we got to get you up to throat goat status. Level what? I'm 42? Okay. You don't want to be a throat goat? I'm okay. Throat I'm okay. I definitely not going to be singing that song. I'm sucking your dick now. Throw baby? <laughs> imagine it. Can you imagine you're like... And it is <laughs> no, <laughs> and the nigga like throw baby. <laughs> the <what>? Like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Leroy, Mister Jenkins? Project Pat is in this motherfucker. All right, I'm a, she she redeemed herself today. She got a girl. Two people that knew that song. Leroy hey, and your cousin. <laughs> and nobody else. Said they knew this song, but those two that, people. Excuse me, that is a classic, ma'am. I'll have you. A lot know. of shits are classic. That doesn't mean I rock with it. <laughs> I'll have you know. Well, welcome, y'all. I'm glad y'all uh, came. I'm gonna bring this back this time. I'm gonna bring it back because I was I heard it bumping the whole episode last week, and that shit irritated the fuck out of me. <laughs> Somebody was just like, "Whose titty is bumping the microphone?" I was like, "I don't got." Luanda. It's not me. <laughs> um, well, welcome y'all. Welcome to another fun episode of the Vixen Memoirs Podcast. I am your lovely host, Crystal, and my lovely co-host. Hey y'all, it's Nikki B, the broken bougie auntie. Hi, you got the titties out today. This is actually one of my favorite shirts. It's a workout shirt. It is so comfortable. Yeah, you are giving oh the, uh, what's her name with the uh, leggings? Uh, oh, with the you. curly hair with the leggings? Fuck. The, um, you know, the movie where she dancing? She doing this? Flash dance? Yeah, you are giving me flash dance. Oh, okay. Thank you for having me. Girl, I was about to say Olivia Newton-John and <laughs> let's get physical. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Eighties was such a weird fucking time. Like, do you ever go back and look at eighties movies and fashion and be like, "What the fuck were people on in the eighties?" I uh, know. I'd be so annoyed every time I go watch, I go back and watch Beverly Hills Cop. I'd be so annoyed. Right. That's my shit, though. What were we thinking, though? Did you have one of those? We had one of those plants. It was fake, but it's like a sunflower, and it had sunglasses on. Whenever you play music, it would start dancing. No, ma'am. <laughs> she was like so fucking 80s. It was the weirdest thing my parents ever bought home. And I was like, but oh, yeah. why did I have that? Did I, did, I I miss, did I miss out? Bitch, you did. I should you I mean, put that motherfucker in the window, turn the radio on. I'm like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Getting man. in this motherfucker. What? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me. I miss Pet Rock. I had all types of weird shit in the 80s. Well, but, welcome. Yeah. what's been going on? How are you? Let's start with how are you? I'm fantastic. I should put on like a little makeup today for you guys. Come on, B, come through. Oh, um, bitch, I went to work today. It's the first time I've been at work since I guess mid November. And my co workers, I'm trying to give them a shout out. They were so nice. They decorated my cubicle. Bitch, I got gift cards. I bitch, got Amazon gift cards. Where, so where are we going? Just to Amazon, that's it? Just to Amazon, bitch. Um, yeah. I got some Christmas shopping. Thank you gonna... for buying me these last few presents. We're not going to Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> or Chipotle or whatever, co-workers, Starbucks or whatever. No. Nah. <laughs> Girl, I got nothing but Amazon, which is cool. <laughs> Shit that's in my card is like toilet paper. Hat. <laughs> <laughs> one day I'm gonna post my <laughs> one day everybody should post what's in their Amazon car. It's the the Amazon Weirdest. car is the wildest shit. It, this should be so wild. That should be like 
a bra, a blanket, a cheese grater. Like, <laughs> Girl, I have one of those really fancy, like, boudoir bathrobes in there. <laughs> and then, like, some shit for my feet. Perfect. <laughs> it should be, like, a scale. Cheetos. Like, girl, what you want to do? Air Everything. <laughs> Air that. Um, okay. Well, what, what happened? And I did not really keep up with this week's foolery, so I don't know. What What's happened? going on? Yeah. Don't worry, I got notes. All right. So, what do we call this segment? Is it hot topics? Is it pop culture? Like, we got to figure out a title for whatever this is right here. You I know we have still in windy shit. She's hot topics, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like we should be pop culture sponsored by pop culture popcorn, but we ain't talked to Streety about this, so we can't do that yet. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll come. We'll come up with something. Because I don't know if we have anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. we don't have we any have a specific name for the segment, though. No. Current events. I don't know. Anywho. So we're going to kick it off. First, I just want to say prayers up to Flavor Flay. Nothing's wrong with him. He's fine, y'all. He's fine. Because you know he's wrong with fuck prayers up. <laughs> fuck, I just got on here. He uh, was in a car accident. He was driving through... Was it Vegas? We we'll just say Nevada, because if it's not Vegas, like it's all in Nevada. And it was raining, and the rain loosened a boulder, so the boulder slid down the side and like rammed into his car. So luckily, he was what? able to. Yes, yeah, so they said so they was, he was able to swerve and get out the way. Um, but had he been, they said like a couple of inches further over or anything else, he probably could have died today. Damn. So, you know, flavor, flight, you know, he has escaped, and but he's really, um, per the shade room, he's very shaken up about this, obviously. Damn, yeah, all right. Flavor. It's a boulder loosening up from the rain. That's wild, but That's all right. Crazy. Yeah, the fact that he was able to see it and swerve because my ass be all over the place when I'm in the car, especially if you're like driving through the desert. Bitch, I know I got some ratchet shit playing, singing and dancing in the car. I would have not have seen this goddamn boulder yeah, sliding down the side. So yeah, and me too. And my reflexes kind of been off lately. I gotta, I gotta sharpen up my reflexes. I was like pulling you, you. Maybe you know or don't know, but like sometimes when you back out of the garage, you click, you flick the button too fast, and then it comes down the on gate. your car. Well, the, the door comes down on your car. You're like, whoa. <laughs> and I, my reflexes was so fucking slow. I'm like, girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? I got to chop in my reflexes. Because I know he was like, damn, what the fuck? A boulder? Like, fuck. I know. He's able to skirt, skirt. Yeah, yeah I definitely would have been a pancake. So yeah. um, just, you know, speedy recovery mental mentally. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure that really fucked him up. He's got to be like running up on 60. He True. has to be. He has to be. Um. So that's Flay. Uh, what else you got? Did you see the Kanye and Drake concert? I know you were so excited about it. Now you know damn hell well I did not watch neither Drake Which, nor Kanye. And you know, I feel like you would have actually enjoyed because he played all the songs you like. Who? Uh, Kanye. Yeah. Did he? Yes, he played all his old shit. Oh no! I'm exactly. It's, well, it's still on Amazon, so you can fast forward to this if you don't like. But you know, he did all of the lights. Did he do power? I think he did power. He did. Um, he did my shit. Uh, la 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 la. Wait till I get my money. I feel like that's the broken bougie auntie thing song because <laughs> I'm always waiting to get my money right. Um. <laughs> But yeah, he did a lot of the old stuff. He did some of the new stuff too, but it was mostly the older stuff. Um, he came out there looking like he got a cricket machine and made his own outfit, but apparently it's Balenciaga and Kanyezy, and it's you can pre-sell it on Amazon. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, but it was funny, all the comments was like, yo, I got that same hoodie from Costco. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, man. <laughs> but I mean, he did look like something you get from Costco. You grab your cricket machine, you know, you, you put your free Hoover on it. Boom, there you're good. 
uh, he and um, Drake performed. Well, I can't remember anything. They performed a song together. And then Drake did most of his new shit. You know, I haven't listened to the album. So I was like, I don't know none of these damn songs. He didn't do any of the songs that I like, um, which is unfortunate. But uh, Kanye had a moment where he kind of like, at the end of his song was like, I'm talking about to you, Kimberly. And please don't ask me the name of the song. You know I'm not good at this shit. But what's funny is that everybody on the interwebs was like, yo, he wrote that song originally by Amber Rose. <laughs> That's why she immediately went to sit in the house. Like, go out, up, up, speed it up, speed it up, faster. Especially because, like, you know, the rumor is he was fucking around with Kim while he was with Amber. Mm -hmm. What do you so, think like, about? What do you think about the take um, that uh, he made him do <laughs> a versus? Like, this was this no. was making him <laughs> making him do a versus. I wouldn't say it was a versus. I saw a lot of people saying this, but the only reason why I say that is because Drake didn't do any of the songs that like we know him for. So I got excited because uh, "Find My Love," I better find my love. Like that's one of my favorite Drake songs right now. Is amp Kanye saying the whole fucking song himself. First of all, Yeezy, you don't know all the words. Like there'll be times I was just like, that's not that's the wrong lyric. That's absolutely the wrong lyric. And Drake didn't go on stage and sing the song with him. Like he wasn't even on stage doing the cabbage patch. He was just like at the bottom of this spaceship type thing they had going on that they performed on. And that was like, okay, that's all right. Cause you know, Drake got a whole bunch of bangers. He played none of them. So that's I'm like, I wouldn't consider it a, a versus. Who goes to versus with all their, their newest shit and none of their, their hot shit? True, true. What's your favorite? Uh... Drake song. Um, God, wallet, please, wallet, wallet. <laughs> I can't remember that song. Got everything, I got everything. I cannot really? complain. I cannot. Yeah, I oh, don't really yeah. know how much I really made. That's my shit. Okay. Why can't I remember the name of the song? Well, oh, I'm terrible with this. My memory is shit, guys. Just asking. I just always, I don't know if we, we don't talk about Drake much, so I just wanted to know what's your favorite Drake song. Yeah, it's either that or um, Uptown off of uh, So Far Gone. A lot of people like Uptown. I like the production of Uptown. That's a dope-ass beat. Yeah, a lot of people like Uptown. Okay. Well, no, I didn't see it, but now that, I, now that, now that you tell me he played all his old shit, I'm definitely gonna check it out. I mean, it's kind of fast for the shit you don't like, but even the gospel choir, because you know he had to do his little gospel shit. Probably shouldn't say shit in gospel the same sentence. But anywho, he got to do the gospel shit. And the gospel choir killed it. Like, actually, you know, I go to church occasionally. He ain't um, do scoop. No, I think, whose song is that? I think that's yeah. Pusha's song. Wow. Poopity scoop? Yeah, I think that's on a push, a push song. But um, he didn't do, it was funny, like he did Niggas in Paris, which is so funny. Because, like, you know, that's a song with him and Jay. So he just kind of was like, we'll just skip over that. <laughs> or when he did the song, um, fuck. The one we were just talking about with Big Sean a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, damn, he got that song with Big Sean. And Mercy. he completely skipped, yeah, skipped over everybody's <laughs> version. <laughs> like, you were just talking shit about Mercy. Sean. You were just talking shit about him. Um, God, you know it's really killing me. I can't remember the name of that Drake song, but I know all the words. No. I know what song you're talking about. It's, it's going to me for the rest of the day. But go ahead. Um, but other than that, it was a great show. Yeah, it was entertaining. I just wish it hadn't started. So originally, they were like, oh, it's going to start at 8 p.m. Was it 8 p.m.? Uh, Pacific Standard Time. That's like 10 o'clock here. Cool. I can do that. Then we go to Amazon. That shit came up 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's, it's a Thursday. I got to wake up and go to work tomorrow. Right. Thanks. So it did not start promptly at 11. I mean, most concerts never start on time, but there's usually something else happening, like, oh, you know, a local artist. Nothing was happening. So I don't think Yeezy got on stage to maybe 11.30, 11.45. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the shit was going to like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I made it no way. Yeah. 
but it was interesting it was entertaining though I, I i had a good time like it reminded me how salty i am that when i won those remember when i won those kanye tickets but i was screaming and i didn't get the information so i couldn't pick up the ticket <laughs> No. Yeah, bitch, I want some tickets off the radio. It was one of those shows you had um you had to call in, you had to answer something. I think it was like four corner hustle on GCI and the corner was in Hyde Park. I was like, yo, I know that that's Harper's. So I call in, I get them, I want to phone, like, ah, screaming and shit. And next thing I know, there's nobody there. And I was like, oh shit, hello. <laughs> They said trash for that. They're supposed to be like, ma'am, call back in, get your tickets, man. Damn, they trash. Yep. I tried to call in. They're like, man, we don't know what to tell you. And I was I was like, but I'm going to see Kanye. <laughs> I not. want tickets to see Yeezy. They're like, yeah, bitch, sorry. <laughs> You're not, though. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> oh, your my now, God. oh, God. Um, okay, let's see what we got next. So you actually told me about this one. And I've been shook ever since. Shook it. I've been shook us. So our fearless leader, President Joe Biden, has announced he played us. Joe, <laughs> Joe Biden says, psych your mind, your booty shine. Right. <laughs> y'all thought y'all was getting rid of the load. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> uh, so he has let us all know. Okay, which might be February 1st. They didn't call you? They called me. Oh, they've been emailing me, texting me, calling me since October. Me. Like, girl, you need to update your account. We need your we need your information so we can do your direct deposit. Bitch, y'all ain't direct, no, not direct <laughs> deposit, direct debit. Y'all ain't taking shit out of my account without me knowing how much it is. So they, um they call me like February's on your ass, girl. Like, what are you okay? <laughs> Okay, I know. Y'all been chilling for like 18 months. It was like TikTok, motherfucker. TikTok. TikTok. It's only a matter. You're going to blink and it's going to be February. I'm like, damn. It's just so funny to me because like people are for real shocked that Joe reneged. And I'm like, he made a lot of promises. And some of those things he has kept, you know, like he's kept certain things. This is the only one he's been pussyfooting on. If he wanted to get rid of student loan debt, then they could have did that shit months ago. Guys, come on. Like that nigga was handing out all that money during the pandemic. He could have got rid of that shit. Absolutely. I get rid of y'all shit, man. He was like, look, I think that man has some type of investment in mm -hmm. whatever student loan corporation is out there. He's got his hand in that so that he's getting some type of kickback. So he's like, hell nah, man. This is my money too. Pay up, bitches. So if you didn't know, guys, Hey, if you got student loans, I didn't know because they got right on the line. Like, hey, girl, hey, uh, you know your shit for to be back due again, right? Like, fuck. I wonder how did they know that he wasn't finna renew that shit because they called me maybe about a month ago and it was like, girl, we about to get it back cracking. I wonder how they told them. I told them like, okay, guys, this is just some shit. I told the minority so they vote my ass in. Um, I we we can't we can't do that. First of all, we owe like millions, maybe huh? billions in student loan debt, right? I it's going to be, you think it's trillion? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I believe I it though. Fun. I believe it. I definitely believe it. Um, you know, I want to go get my doctorate. And every time I look at that, I'd be like, bitch, you already owe the national debt. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what you need a PhD for, ho? You can barely pay for the master's. <laughs> Facts. Um, but yeah, guys. So again, if y'all didn't know, February first is the due date for all of us. Which is interesting. I don't think my loans were even due on the first originally. I think they were like due like the eighteenth or they they were it wasn't the first, so y'all be on bullshit with this. <laughs> Um, Americans owe a startling one point seven three trillion dollars in student loan debt. Jesus Christ, the average student loan debt for an American is $30,000 per student. Oh, that's not bad at all. I don't want to talk about what my shit looks like. Girl, my shit looks like a presidential bank account. <laughs> shit is wild. <laughs> shit is nuts. Wild. Um, what's interesting, though, is that since we stopped paying student loans, the economy has recovered because we're spending that money in other ways. So with inflation and shit happening, 
and people going back to student loans, I am very curious to see how this affects the economy as a whole. I mean, people are buying cars and houses, like all the shit they weren't doing because of these student loan payments. So I would be, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this, this uh, how this shit pans out. People probably going to be back to not really doing too much, like not really, you know what I'm saying, buying houses and cars. You know, my student loans was a really big issue when I was buying a house. Like it was a, it was a really big thing. And a lot of people don't or aren't able to purchase property and shit like that specifically because of student loans. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, you know, what happens going forward now that everybody got to start paying their shit back. It'd Look, be I put it like this. I don't want to hear no politician boo-hooing about some shit because, you know, oh, the economy is taking a turn for the worse. Y'all yeah, could fix this. Motherfuckers got to go back to paying their shit. Yeah. Yeah. This shit's expensive. So, um, all right. So that's fuck you student loans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird one that I want to talk about because I've been following it, but I haven't been following it. Have you been seeing this weird online beef between Madonna and 50? Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is just such a, a weird beef. Like, 50 yes. talks about women all the time. Yes, right. It's, it's very on brand for 50. Is for it 50, but for the fact that it's going on me. this long is nuts. <laughs> Every time I log on, it'd be like, Madonna's just like, I thought we were friends. And 50 does some like ignorant <laughs> shit. And I'd be like, what is happening? Um, if you guys don't know, the fact Madonna that John is, 50 cent any attention is funny to me. <laughs> um, Madonna and 50 have been, have been beefing because, I mean, did you see the picture though? It's a little yeah. weird. So Madonna's got to be like, again, running up on 60 years old if she's not already 60. Madonna but she's still well into her 60s. She has to be because I feel like she was 30 when we were kids. Yeah. So she has this picture of her lying on the floor with her. She's uh, like half of her body's underneath the bed and the other half is out. But she's got on like red bottoms and fishnets. And I don't think she's wearing any panties. Maybe she might be wearing like a thong or something. But her ass cheeks are out. And 50 basically was like, bitch, your ass is 60 years old. What the fuck? And Madonna just took it very, very personal. And she shared some old picture of them that she photoshopped. Um, hugging and saying, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Have you seen her um, butt job? Have you seen it? It looks terrible. You can yeah. see the picture. You can, see, yeah, you can see it in the photo. Like it looks, It looks like somebody took two loaves of bread. Because it's it's like rectangular, it just mm -hmm. like sh shoved them up there. You so you seen it, um, not in this picture. Like you seen it outside of this picture. I don't really follow Madonna. Okay, because okay. she's a little strange to me. All right. She's well, like she reminds me of that aunt that just refuses to get old. Yeah, when you see it, you gonna be like, <laughs> you gonna be like, girl. <laughs> Do you remember two years ago? It had to be maybe 10 years ago. So she was at a concert and she yelled at her concert. Does anybody have any Molly? <laughs> What's wrong with Madonna, man? Man, the average age has got to be 54. What are you doing? <laughs> What's your favorite Madonna song? Bonita. I've never heard that. Have you ever heard it? Last night I danced in oh, okay. I never knew that was the name of that song. <laughs> yeah. The Beautiful Island. Oh, have I heard what? Human Nature. Yeah, that's my shit. That's my shit. I like Madonna. That's my bitch. That's I fuck with shit. Madonna, which is why I have a problem with her not <laughs> aging gracefully. Like, like if I'm not Madonna, if I'm Madonna, I'm not aging gracefully either. I'm out in these streets with my butt job. <laughs> hey, yo, Molly. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm gonna start kicking it. Yes, why? You're gonna be like, Crystal, girl, I'm gonna go sit my no. ass in my hover around. I was talking to my car order about my hover around a day, bitch. I was like, ask any of my friends in college, they know I'm excited about this hover around. Lord, so you've been talking about this since we were 19 years old. Yeah, her, legs were at the, her legs were at their best. <laughs> this is Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all not ready. We not. We are definitely not. 
All right. And I'm not sorry. That's my shit. You can tell me shit about human nature. Yeah, I, I really fuck with Madonna, but sometimes her antics just be a little. I mean, that's Madonna. It's Madonna. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to say congratulations to the Stallion. Meg D. Stallion is now officially Meg D. Graduate. Okay, Meg. Shout out to Meg. Which makes you put into perspective how young she is. Like, goddamn. Right. Like, you're just graduating she undergrad. Did. <laughs> she did all of that. <laughs> she did. She on the road now. All of graduated. I don't know why Madonna got a BBL. I have no clue. She, you, you know what? Madonna's just entering this phase in her life. She wants to be sexier and cuter and younger. And you know what I'm saying? Here we are. No, you know what it? Girl, she sounds like an episode of Death Becomes Her. She better not fall down no fucking stairs. Death Becomes Her is my <laughs> easily in the top ten best movies made of. This shit is hilarious. Death Becomes Her. She better not fall down a fucking step. Her whole body's gonna break. This shit gonna crack. <laughs> Did anybody have it? <laughs> like bitch. <laughs> Do you see you? You look a hot ass man. How you a caricature of your own damn self, Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> we can never blow up. They're gonna be like these bitches talk shit about everybody. That's what we do. It's what uh, we do. You know what's okay because I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, shout out to Meg the graduate. I'm very, very proud of you. Undergrad was a challenge, bitch. And you did that shit while touring, you know, pouring up, you say, winning Grammys. Like, you have been kicking it and you did the damn thing. So this is definitely a shout out to people that, like, I can't. You can if you really want to. Mm-hmm. You really can. It doesn't have to be college. It could be any fucking thing. You can if you want to. Right. Um, Let's see. Um, I think that was all that I had for pop culture. Did you have anything for pop culture before mm, I move on? I, didn't, I don't think anything really happened. Uh, no. Mm-mm. I'm purposely, guys, not talking about the Tory Lane shit because fuck Tory Lane. Um, all right. So what you watching, girl? So Crystal and I, guys, have been <laughs> trying to catch up on love and marriage huntsville because for some reason neither one of us knew this was a show for three years <laughs> for three whole fucking years and we heard about some some hot ass mess that was going on so now we're trying to fucking catch up <laughs> and it is good like this is a good show where have i been it's good. <laughs> trash. The show is it's trash. Good. The way I would have drove to the Clark County fucking office and signed up for a divorce. Girl. Nah, that shit's good. That shit's actually good. I'm glad. I'm glad we happened upon this. So if you guys <laughs> haven't watched that show, it's um three couples. They're all in Huntsville, Alabama. And they're all somehow involved with real estate. Either they build houses, they sell houses, they're general contractors, but um, they're all friends, three couples. And there's one couple who is the bomb, right? Like they're great, they love each other. They're always loving on each other. Like, oh my God, I made her cry. Now I feel horrible. Like they're the great couple. And then there's a couple where bro like he's just a hella chauvinist like he doesn't want her to get a job he basically tells he basically wants a a maid and a nanny as a wife right like i want you to stay home your job is to be with the kids um favorite part i told chris that nigga was like told his son to go make dinner go make himself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he tells the camera i found out today my son allergic to peanut butter buddy is 10. You just tried to legit kill your fucking son. Um, and then there's the, the trash bad couple where the girl, Melody is pretty. I don't like that hair thing she got going on. But Melody's a really cute girl. She's very successful. She's birthed out three fucking babies. 
killing the thing, doing speaking engagements. They're on covers of magazines. And her husband has a whole girlfriend for three and a half years. I have a question for you. What? Where do you stand on, um, well, in the show, the husband has been cheating on the wife for about three years, he said. Mm-hmm. The wife finds out and um, he cuts things off and I'm assuming six, seven, eight months pass and then out the blue or all of a sudden the girl calls the phone again and after that the wife is like completely done like she's over it like she's like look fuck you we are actually really getting a fucking divorce. So you do you believe that over the course of the time that the two of them had a didn't have any communication and like where do you stand on like are you with her like no nah, nigga we're done like she because in the scene she he did say you know did she ask you to change your number and he was like yeah like she asked she asked me to change my number and I just didn't so do you think like it's his fault? Like, oh shit, well, you didn't change your number. So it just left the door open for even if you're not lying about her calling you, it just left the door open for her to be able to call you, which is probably why he never changed the fucking phone number to begin with. So all right, so are you like, yeah, I'm with Melody, because nigga, if you had to change the number, then I mean she wouldn't have been able to reach back, reach back out to you, you know what I'm saying, after five, six, seven months. This is my stance. I don't think they went on. Ever stop talking? No, I don't think they ever stop talking. Because he, I don't know how far you are, but it sounds like you probably have passed me by now. Um, he admits that they were both in love with each other, right? He's insane. That's insane. <laughs> like, what do you- To what, hear your husband be like, I'm in love with this woman? What do you want me to do now? Like, what do you, which, I mean, it's, it's very likely- go. It's likely to happen. Like, it's likely if you've yeah. carried on this shit with this woman for three years, it is very likely that the two of you have feelings for each other. And then I know in therapy, he was like, that shit was hard for me to cut off. Like, that shit was hard. That's just why I don't think me. he did it. <laughs> like, that shit was hard for me to end and cut off because yeah nigga you have carried on this relationship with this woman for three full years so i guess you feel like they never stopped talking to begin with yeah. so. no and because it's one of those things think about it right what are the odds what are the odds that i randomly call somebody i used to deal with he just so happens to be with his wife the one time i call I mean, I would assume you always with your wife because you're married. So I would assume that you. I'm not saying that I think that that they're lying or he's lying. I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate. He's lying. Like. He's lying. <laughs> he's lying. I'm just saying, like, and I just wish people would be very honest. Like, I know he's he was to honest. He was like, I let his bitch. <laughs> this is why. This is I, that's this is why I always ask men who do this, like. What what is what do you expect is going to ha like? And I know a lot of them are just like you know I don't I don't know like I don't expect anything like this is very likely to happen. It's very likely that if you are married and then you involve yourself with somebody else, there's a high possibility that you could fall in love with this person. Now what? Like like now what do we do? Now I love two people. <laughs> See. No. <laughs> now I love you and I love her. See, but this is why I always be like, I just have a very hard time. Like, you know, I'm okay with dating and I personally have a hard time with the idea of settling down with the same person forever. Like, I just feel like that is whew, that just seems, first of all, forever is a very long time, right? Even if it's only two days, but it's like, it's a, it's a long yeah, time. <laughs> And so the idea that oh, I'm going to settle down with you forever and never like somebody else, I, it's, I find it very hard to believe. I'm not saying I wouldn't try. I, oh, Jesus, there's enough alcohol here. I would try, <laughs> but I just feel like forever is a very long time. And I, if more people would just be open to the possibility, you know, always be pushing 
polyamory on the show of polyamory, maybe a lot more people will be a lot happier. Polyamory won't doesn't work because men won't do that. Like men won't be like, okay, okay, Susan, you can go out and suck Larry's dick. I, I'm cool with that. Like that's why it'll never fucking work. <laughs> that's why it'll never fucking work. But I always wonder, like, when men do this, like, what do y'all expect? Like, I fully expect that if if I'm in, you know, some sort of relationship with somebody that's married, like I fully expect to. As time goes on, especially if it's been three fucking years, like, yeah, nigga, like, of course you love her. It's been three. Y'all been fucking around for three years. And then he's in therapy and he ain't got to admit that shit. He got to what the fuck else you want her to do? Like, what do you expect her to do? Like, well, you know, this is part of the men on the show, though, right? Like, all of them are very, very self-centered. It's all about what they want. It's all about their needs, right? So... It's kind of like, of course, he expects her to stay because he wants her to. And so I think he has a problem understanding. Remember, what was the part you, you called me about yesterday? Like, bitch, I know it's the middle of the, of the work day, but I got to tell you this. What did, what did you call she me for yesterday? Said, she said, <laughs> I feel disrespected. I, she's named all of these things. He was like, yeah, I mean, that's the type of shit that happens in relationships. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> what? Just, what? She, yeah. she said she felt like undervalued. <laughs> She's like, I mean, that's why the life should like, be going on. Like, nigga, what? No, you have to fix that. So he did you get to the part where he's in therapy and the guy was like, yo, you're the problem? And he's just like, Am, uh, I, the am I the drama? Yes, nigga, it's you. You the one that cheated. You the <laughs> one that got you didn't just cheat. You went and got a girlfriend, you know, like you did these things and you expect her to be okay with it. And I don't even understand what made him think Melody was that type of bitch. You know, the type of the, the type of chick on the show that would be okay with it, Letitia. Letitia ain't gonna go no fucking where. Melody, Melody's going to fucking leave because she's cute. She got her shit together. She she knows she can find somebody else. Yeah, but I don't I don't ever think the intent is to have this type of situation go on or last for as long as it did because having a girlfriend outside of your wife for three years is insane. So it happens I'm, all the time. Three years though, it does. I'm I, you are you are absolutely correct. But motherfuckers be like, who's the lady in the back? What crying her ass off at daddy's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> no one's seen that woman in life. Who is she? <laughs> Three years is insane. It's, it's insane. But yeah, go ahead. You're right. No, I'm just saying, like, Melody isn't that type of chick. So I I don't know what he's going to do. I think I read somewhere that Melody might be engaged to somebody else now. Um, so I don't know what he's gonna do. I think the side chick had a baby. <laughs> And she is wild and online. <laughs> oh my god, my uncle had a girlfriend for like thirty five years and married her after my aunt died. Nigga, I'm not marrying you. All right, you, I could marry you now. She did. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Yeah, this is a TV show called Love and Marriage Huntsville. Huntsville. I think there's a Jacksonville too, but. Old folks do do it better. I don't know, man. This is it. Just was such a it just was a such a sticky situation, especially when he was like, "Yeah, I love her." Like, of course you do. Of course, like, what did you three years? Like, like you were buying her cars and shit. Like, oh, duh. What do you men expect to have? I would love to have a man on the show. I mean, not that y'all would admit, you know, to so cheating on their girl. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, what did what do you expect to happen out of this? Like, y'all go into this being like, oh, well, you know, whatever happens, happens, and you know, this shit is probably gonna last for a couple months, and then that's it, and then I just move on to the next woman that'll let me fuck with her outside of my marriage. Like, do what is that is that the plan? Like, what, what you know, <laughs> so I'm thinking about the mechanic, right? Because he's the one I'm always like, he treated me the best. But he also sent me through the most bullshit, right? So did he treat you the best, though? Can you can you can you do both? Like, can it? I, you can do both because I mean, in terms of like looking out for me, you know, when I quit my job because of him, but when I quit, 
he, he I didn't have any money. He would just give me money. Like, you know, I know you need to go shopping. I need to do this. Yeah, you should because I quit because of you and I have no backup. I don't think um, I don't I don't think you can do both. I don't think you can be both. I don't I don't know. I don't believe I don't believe so. I don't believe what a, what what other guy could you call when your car is broken down to come fix your shit? You mean of yours or in general? Yeah, of mine. Uh, none of them. Exactly. But yeah, but that doesn't that don't that don't that don't do what I mean like treat I mean like remember how Melody was just like we do all the same stuff we do all the time right like we go out he takes me out he buys me things he brings me flowers he eats dinner with me like so he was <laughs> in terms like on the surface he was and she said you're a great father right he was doing the things he was supposed to do it's just that his extracurricular shit was really fucked up so it's one of those things like you could be good and I think in one aspect and be shitty in another I don't, I don't, I, so, so am I, am I looking at the totality of you or am You're I looking at the whole thing? I, I grab, I break shit up into sections. Like overall, oh, yeah, the whole no. situation was fucked up, but in know. terms of certain things, you were really good at that. Oh no, I, I can't do that. Cause niggas always, they always be good at something. Like y'all, y'all always are good at something. I have to, I look at the whole totality of you as a nigga and now nah, the answer is no. Like, I don't know if you, if you. If you can do both, like you could be a piece of shit. Like, it's ain't that the same? Ain't that the same concept of as like, um, my husband pays all the bills, but he beats my ass every night. Like, ain't that the same thing? Like, well, yeah, you're a great provider and you do all of these things, but you're 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 also you also abuse me at night. Like, ain't that the that's same? Really extreme though. Like, but it ain't in the like because that's that's what a lot of people say or. Um, he does. All I mean, because you can also look at it like, yeah, my husband doesn't beat me, but he forgets to pay all the bills. Like you might, you might say, oh, well, because it's just bills, it's not that serious. But like, bills are still important, right? So that's just one thing he is great at. He doesn't beat you. He doesn't cheat on you. But sometimes lights go off because that nigga forgot to pay the bill. Like that's still a fucked up thing to do. It is like bro, we need light. Like you know, like that's still a fucked up thing. So other like certain things, because some women are okay with cheaters. They don't mind, right? They're like, hey, think about people, the women who date like NBA players and NFL players. All them niggas is cheating, and they know that because that's part of the thing they signed up for. But you know what? They're like, he does all these other things. So I'm just going to overlook this. I'm going to Juanita Jordan this until it's about the right time. You know what I mean? So. Ugh. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just think Ugh. it depends. I'm sick to my fucking stomach. Ugh, God. I'm sick every week, G. Because, man, the bar's on the floor for these niggas. It's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie said, Steph is faithful. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, you niggas literally have to do absolutely nothing. Y- y'all just be like, I mean, he was breathing today, so he's great. Like, fuck no. Like, the bar is on. They have to They have to do literally nothing. And women are just like, oh. I'm just the same for women, too, though. He's so, no, women are dope. Like, hold on. <laughs> like, women are in real life dope. Like in most real life. women are all women in are not dope. Life. All women are not dope. Women are super it's a dope. A lot of women. fucked up kids. Out no, here it is. Fucked up mom. It is. It's a lot of fucked up women, but in general, women are super dope. Men. I don't know. I've, I've hung out with several women who are married who tell me all the time that they be cheating on their husbands. I'm not saying women don't cheat. I'm just saying. Uh, well, I'm just saying that we're going by your your logic, though, right? Like you can't be a good woman if you're woman if you're cheating on your husband. So. You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> you can't. You. No, can't. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't do a blanket statement for women. Like I'm a always cap for us, no matter what. And you no, know, back in the day, cap meant ride. I know y'all have turned it into lying, but no, back in the day, cap means you used to ride for people. So I'm always, you know, go hard for women. But I'm also be very honest that some of us we fucked up. No, it it and it's a lot of men that are phenomenal. So I don't I don't want a blanket statement men either. Like it's a lot of men that are great, but uh, it's a lot of men that are not. <laughs> like, <laughs> a lot like a lot so i don't know i i know that uh you you think that you can do both like you can be um 
I don't know. I don't. I forget what you said. There was something about. Well, also, you know, I don't really necessarily subscribe to one hundred percent to monogamy. So, you, could you know, this and that. Like, nah, you you trash. Like, you just try. You just you just trash. Like, you don't get to be both. You either you, you. It's not this like one to me. I mean, you have your own opinion, but to me, like, no, nah, you trash. You trash. Like, one aspect of your life is fucked up. Then, nigga. You 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 can't beat my ass all day, but be like, yeah, but uh, the lights are on. Great, nigga. So I can see my black fucking. But, great, great. I, great. But I think it also depends on what you're comfortable with, right? Like, again, I'm not necessarily. I'm not saying it depends. I, I would definitely divorce Martel, but I wouldn't. Do, it would. It wouldn't just be because of the cheating. That nigga's a complete arrogant asshole. Um, he is like it's just it's too fucking much. It's too much. But I don't know necessarily if that would have been a deal breaker because I probably would be like, great, I'm out here too. <laughs> if you marry and you cheat with a married woman, it balances it out. I don't care. Shut up, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's algebra, duh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily a deal breaker because again, you know, I'm tr- I'm trying to open up the opportunities for all of us, like. Hey, you got a girlfriend? Fan fucking tastic. I'm about to go get me a boyfriend. And we're all gonna be very happy in the end. So I don't know if that's necessarily a deal breaker for me. Hitting me is a deal breaker. Like, bro, don't put don't put your fucking hands on me. Cause that's not something I would do to you. I would never lay my hands on you. I might, you know, throw a rock at you, right? I might throw a brick at you, but I'm never gonna lay my hands on you. So I I wouldn't necessarily say that use the same type of this or that that you're using because I'm not G for for violence. Period. Okay. Well, what if it's not violence? What if it's something else? Like, what if he's just what if he's just a shitty person in general, like a shitty guy? I wouldn't want to be with a shitty person. I mean, okay. I guess we would be also may have you know different definitions of what we think a shitty person is. So yeah. I guess that's also subjective too. Um, but yeah, but yes. <laughs> Bottom line is the show is great, so watch it. It is, <laughs> and I just want to shout out to Lou because Lou, when the show came back, her and um this other guy who watches the show, I'm not gonna say no name, they were like, "Oh shit, Huntsville's coming back." I'm like, "What the fuck show are they talking about? And what show is it that a guy is excited about? You know, for it to be fucking uh reality TV, and it's it's a train wreck but um i i think the saving grace is the um kimmy and maurice because they're a really so far they are a really dope couple and i like them uh Fuck with them leslie that's not good logic so that's good logic no it's not <laughs> <laughs> don't be a hater <laughs> it's algebra duh um hate you niggas <laughs> Uh, oh, I did forget to talk about this because I just saw this before we came on. So quick flip back to pop culture. I don't know why this is funny. Did you hear? So, you know, LeBron James had opened up a school, um, I, I Promise School. What? He promises what? I'm not quite sure, but I will look that up. Uh, so he opened he up the school and the, the first principal of the school, Black lady, she is already resigning. Cause she slapped the kid for cursing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was like, what you say? Yeah. Yeah. So she's resigning. I just wanted to throw that out there. Cause I cried. I was fucking crying, laughing at this shit. Like, Damn. She must have grew up going to Catholic schools. I know they whooped y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They used to get them rulers and beat the shit out of us. They used to take the bitches together and beat the and pop the fuck out of us. Oh my god. Yeah, yes, she slapped the kid. She, she slapped <laughs> the student. They did. Um, yeah, she she had to have gone to Catholic school. She had to. I mean, we used to get um in the 80s, you talk about the 80s earlier, right? In the 80s at public school, they used to to beat our ass, but not like Catholic school. Mm-hmm. Not like Catholic school at all. I thought when I was substitute teaching, I'll never forget. <laughs> I had this class. I think it was well, you popping kids, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't because I didn't feel comfortable. But I remember I was in the classroom and this parent comes up to me and she's like, you know, Miss Brown, if my son acts up, 
you whoop his ass. No, and ma'am. I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm not. No, um, I will call you. She was like, nah, nah. Uh-uh, because he be in here fucking up. You whoop his ass. So oh, man. I had to call her, like, I had, to, I had the office call her the next day because he was fucking up. And she came up there, that bitch was dead ass. Like, I told you to whoop his ass. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, no. I am 23. I need a job. <laughs> you fucking around. I'm not touching your kid, bro. Hell I'm no. <laughs> I'm not. So parents, please don't ask your teachers to get your fucking kids. They need their job. They Thank need their pension. You. Thank you. Oh, God. Um, who did I have for you, Wallet? Oh, I think everyone should know this one. So for this week's You Wild and Fam, because I don't think we watched any other TV outside of love and marriage. Guys, we are really trying to catch up. So we didn't watch shit else this week but this show. Um, so my nominee for You Wild and Fam it's going to have to go to the CEO of Better.com. Did you hear about this shit? Mm-mm. So Better.com, I believe, you guys always feel free to correct me in the comments because y'all know I be half-assing this shit. Um, he uh, has like, it's like a real estate, I think it's supposed to be close to like Zillow type thing. And they haven't been doing too well. So he had a Zoom call with about 900 employees. <laughs> <laughs> And politely told everybody, it's been great. It's been swell. <laughs> you no longer work here. Yeah, damn. What? what? Damn. Y'all still out here firing people on Zoom? 700 people, 900 people. Some, 900 some people. Some while. Yeah. Some 900 while. people. So he's gotten a lot of kind of like backlash. Obviously, I mean, like Christmas is literally next week. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's gotten a lot of backlash about this, so he has taken a step back. <laughs> so they got their jobs still? Oh no, they ain't got the jobs. He said, "My bad, Who guys." A step back from <laughs> from his, his duties, from oh. office duties. Oh. Um. Now, nah, Bru- Russell is employed, but he's he's kind of being like, "I'm gonna step back because, sorry, guys, maybe maybe that was uncalled for." Maybe you think see my hand. My bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. See my hands. Nobody cares, bro. You wild for that. So um, I'm gonna send some prayers out to the 900 fucking families. Yeah. They got some really whack news two weeks before Christmas. That's fucked up. But yeah, I did read about that. I mean, but I mean, if we at home, like how else did y'all want to find out? Like, that's not They're not in the office, right? No, I think part of the issue was that they looked at the productivity numbers and they realized that people weren't as productive and they were losing money. So they were like, okay, you know, y'all haven't been that productive. The company's losing money. He got to let you go. Yeah, what I other just, did he have? I think typically when people are fired, your supervisor talks to you, bitch. It's not the CEO <laughs> on a Zoom call. It's okay. usually your supervisor and human it's resources. different times, though. It's, di- it's, it's cold. Girl, your supervisor got teams just like everybody else. <laughs> it's different times. <laughs> we were rude as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It is. That's enough time, Leroy. You're right. It's time taking that shit back. Ain't nobody getting shit. See, he was firing um, supervisors too. Ain't ever, anybody could get it. <laughs> You've never gone through like a corporate restructuring. Mm-hmm. And you know that you, it's not the CEO. Like usually, those people know they've been fired first, and then there's a the big company meeting with the CEO. It's like, hey guys, <laughs> if you see half the office packing their boxes today, <laughs> my mm-hmm. dad. Like, it's, I've been through maybe you know the museum used to have restructuring like every three fucking years so i've been through probably like four or five corporate restructuring and those people found out from their supervisors and then their supervisors found out from somebody else <laughs> that they were let go i don't know i don't know that i do do i really care that much who's firing me do does it does it matter i'm still fired regardless of who fuck who fuck tell me i think like, it's it, in terms of like what's personal Oh, like you know, you, you ain't got no fucking job. I got bigger fish to fry. Like, nigga, what I got, I got questions though. Like, is there a package? 
you know, some companies do packages. Like, well, is there a slight umbrella for me? Am I just up and grab my box? Am I, am I pick, packing up my fern tomorrow? Like, I got get questions. Your, get your severance. And guess who's the best person to answer all that shit? Mr. fucking CEO, nigga. I got yeah, questions. Yeah, nigga, you the one who got all the fucking money and you know where it's at if it's it, if it is or if it ain't. So, Mr. CEO, glad you're here, bitch. Uh, my severance. What's up with that, bro? <laughs> and that man's gonna be like, all right, guys, it's been great talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know whose cell phone number you have? Your supervisor. That's gonna be like, fam, I don't know. I'm fired just like you. <laughs> like, know. you don't fire the supervisor immediately. Be like, so, Jim, did you fire those 30 employees? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Great. Sorry, I'll let you know. Sorry, I'll let you know, Jim. Oh, God. Yep. So, yeah, we make fun of everybody. We really ain't shit. Um, (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. (sighs) Yeah, Yeah, 900 people. people. (laughs) Um, So, I think that's all I got. If you, I did have a question for you that I can't, I think. What did Tiffany put this? No, little Duval asked this. And I was like, I'm gonna ask you this on air because I feel like we've had this conversation offline in the past. So the question that Lil Duval posed was, Do you trust your parents' judgment on who you should date? Yes. You I do? do? I do. You yes. you let mom pick out your your next boyfriend. Pick out? No. Yeah. No. I thought you meant like if my parents had a conversation with me about somebody that I was dating, would I take what they have to say into serious consideration? That, that's what I thought you meant. Well, um, we'll, we'll take it both ways, right? Like, because I mean, my parents don't like anybody I date. I mean, and this. As they shouldn't, because I mean, they're all trash. trash. Exactly. exactly. Uh, <laughs> parents be fucking knowing. But if my parents were to be like, "Yeah, John, you dating? Eh, girl, that ain't the one." But that goes for my parents. That goes for you. Plenty of times you've been like, "Nah, sis, he ain't the one." So I mean, be it's better to talk to the people that know you and are on the outside looking in. I think I would. I just would take that shit into very serious consideration yeah i would would you let me pick your boyfriend i feel like you you yeah to a certain extent like i feel like you wouldn't know what's in what's most important to me in a partner today like i think that you would know like what would have been important to me for a partner maybe years ago but like today like i don't know if you would know I mean, I'm just gonna make sure he life skinny and cute, girl. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be? Fuck. Like, wait, so are you light skinned? Great. Are you wait, are you a cute light skinned guy? Perfect though. See, you leaving out so much in poor shit. That's why you <laughs> gave me a <laughs> yeah. I would let my I would I would I would take my parents uh advice into heavy consideration or whatever they had to say about somebody I was dating. Absolutely. Would you? Oddly enough, I would take my father's advice over my mother's. Really? Yes. Because my mom, look, my mom would be like, oh, wait, he takes you out and buys you shit. He's perfect. <laughs> yeah, but mom. <laughs> I don't like him, though. Right. <laughs> You know, the guy last year, she was just like, well, I like him because he always taking you out. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, mom. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. And she's always the person like when we're out. I don't even think people be looking at me. She'd be like, you know, that guy at the end of the hall was staring at you. Bruh. Mom. <laughs> Bruh, I'm trying to buy some underwear. <laughs> Trying to get some clean panties, mom. Clean mom. <laughs> I, I saw the guy actually. He was kind of scary looking. I made sure to look the other way for pointing him out. So, but I think my dad had really good judgment. Um, probably because he's a man, though. You know, I feel like men could probably pick out ain't shit niggas faster than we can. Yeah. So I would definitely, um, if he were still here, take pops to the bar and be like, all right, dad, do your thing. 
Um, but nah, not mom. I love her. To, I love her to pieces. She'll probably cry to be like, you don't trust my judgment. <laughs> I always say that my father gave me, or still to this day, my father gives me the best advice in regards to relationship and men. My father gives me the better advice and my mother is the better example. So I probably follow more of what she does and listen to more of what he says. So she's the better example and he gives the better advice. Um, it's the Look perfect. what you just did. Yeah, Out the, here supporting the, the importance of two parent households. Not, <laughs> not, and not like being in the same house, like just having two parents. Yeah that are active in your life. Like if there is definitely um, a balance when you're able to have, I know a lot of people say, you know, men need their fathers. Nah, we all <laughs> need our <That's> fathers. Right. <laughs> all of us need our fathers if we're, if we're capable, you know, if they're alive and well and out here, like even the most fucked up fathers are going to pass something down to you. Mm -hmm. So um, I like that you're like, nope, I listen to him, but I do what she does. Like that. Yeah. It's it's like it's like the perfect the the perfect balance of both of them. I remember I was in this relationship with this guy. And my dad was like, um, he sat me down one day and he was like, I know that you are young and I know that you think that this is love. Like I know you probably don't have a lot of experience. I mean, you're young, so you probably think that this is what it is and this is what it looks like. And he was like, Absolutely not. This is not it. <laughs> he was like, if he loved you, he would do this. If he loved you, he would say like he just really like broke it down. I probably was like 18 or 19. And he was like, no, like, sis, this ain't it. So <laughs> move around. And they've all both of them, they've always been the perfect example or you know, the perfect combination of both. So shout out to the rents. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Help him, you know. Raise fully actualized individuals. <laughs> I did want to talk to you about the post in the group. Um, okay. At, were you done with? with yeah, the, I just had that one question to see what you thought. Um, the post was something to the effect of uh, something something about if the dick ain't hard, I don't want it. If the dick ain't, if the dick is soft. Oh, you mean the post that was like. Something when he like, asks you make it when the dick ain't hard and he asks you make it hard. Yes, get it hard for me. Get it hard for me, baby. <laughs> how many times let's start with how many times have you heard? Ooh, make it hard for me, baby. Get it more hard than I care to. <laughs> get it hard for me, baby. <laughs> so my thing is like I remember I was just like, do we gotta talk about this for very long? This actually is it annoys the fuck out of me. Hold on, pause. Does it annoy you because they say it and it's not necessary to say it because why else am I here? Or is it just annoying in general? Both. <laughs> okay, Both. that's weird. Well, because, you know, I don't know what other women do in the bedroom, right? I just know what I do. And I never be like... Hey, I'm about to tell you what I do, sis. Go ahead. I, I have never said, get it wet for me, daddy. Like, I've never, <laughs> I've never said that. Even if, and I'm not going to sit here in front. I'm like, going to start saying that. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should because it's just like, I never, even if I'm not fully there yet, I'm not going to be like, smart. that shit feel like the Sahara. Get it wet for me, daddy. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that. So it's you very. have to put the Sahara in here. Because they're not gonna know it's dry, right? But we, we can see that you know the little man is a little limp limp, but like they won't know it's dry. So it's just kind of like first of all, I'm mad I already gotta do all the work. You're not just excited off GP today, like oh, I gotta do extra work. <laughs> and that nothing's weird than like putting, you know, in your mouth when it feels like a cyber. noodle. Cyber. It is the absolute worst. <laughs> You know what the thing is? I think that a lot of women think that if your dick isn't hard here with me, that you are not attracted to me. So a lot of women are kind of slightly annoyed with that. Like, so wait, we here, we talking about fucking, but we not fucking. So I think some of the issue is 
and if there are any men in here, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but some of the issue is a lot of women think like, oh, his dick ain't hard. That must mean that he not into me or he not attracted to me or, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to fuck or whatever. So <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of the issue. Like women are like, I mean, nigga, get it hard. Right. Like you, <laughs> do you actually even want to fuck me? Like, the fuck? I mean, they do wake up and this should be at attention. Like you literally did <laughs> nothing but open your eyes. True. Like, so you're, we're here. You've initiated this. It's time to go. It's go time. And then you whisper right here. When when I pull out this, what's the, the, the you know the I, thing that be like? Not the car wash thing. <laughs> <laughs> you pull this bad boy out, right? <laughs> Talking about some. Oh, not your me. dick being the car wash thing. I hate you. I swear to God. <laughs> All in your mouth or in your hand, like, hey, no. I'm not gonna say I'm dry. Get it wet. Make me tsunami. That. That's about to be my next go-to line. Get it wet for me, Daddy. <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> so, I mean, and I, and I understand that, like, you probably can't get hard all the time off off of just thinking about it. I guess I, I don't have a penis. I don't know. I just know yeah, a lot of we, we just assume, like, especially when we're in, we're in the mix, mm -hmm. like we're in the scenario, like we're in the the situation of sex. Is is it's not <laughs> it's not hard because we whatever we're doing, we kissing, You're not we excited? touching, yeah, like we kissing, we touching, we sucking, we all this other shit, everything but fucking. So we just assume that it would be hard because we like in the midst. Of getting it popping and i guess that's just not always the case it's just weird because like i literally will be on the phone with a guy and he'll say something it won't even be sexual my shit will be like ting bitch <laughs> <laughs> you know like it doesn't take much like if you're really into somebody so i i'm so mad that all the guys are super quiet right now because this is the time y'all to chime in um <laughs> But yeah, it's just like, you know, I saw you today. I liked your socks. Like my socks, ting. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it should be real random. And like, so I'm sitting there and I'm looking good and you looking good and we smelling good and we're touching on each other and you pull down your pants and I just be like. <laughs> I hate you. It sounds like the perfect recipe for me. But again, I do not have a penis. So I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but I have been told that men are just, men are normally just like, no nah, girl, like, cause, cause I assume like, even like if I'm on my way over or you're on your way over, like you thinking about some shit or, and you know, you got some shit going on in your head and you thinking about like what you about to do. And I just assume that that all plays into, you know what I'm saying? You getting ready to have sex. So I assume that you're gonna be hard like ugh. Th this actually hasn't happened to me in a really long time like a nigga ain't said to me in a really long time like get it hard i'm not like like a nigga never said it but it's been a really long time since a motherfucker been like yeah you gotta just get it hard just get it hard for me i think it's been a couple of years for me since the last time somebody said this to me and i was so fucking annoyed and i'm like really <laughs> i mean i drove all the way out west for this you know what i mean like you knew i was coming you knew i was coming from Naperville, like you know what I mean? Like, did you have to say the side of town? Oh, yeah, this is some west side shit. That's, that's a west side shit. Shut up. Look, no more west siders. I'm sorry. I love y'all to pieces. I'm done. I've did my time. What are them things that be like? If you dated a west sider, you are old compensation. I, I am old. <laughs> Hella compensation for this, for this shit. Um, I just feel like that's just niggas low key way of saying like suck my dick. Like I just, instead of them being like you know come suck my dick, they just be like yeah you you gotta get it hard. Like just say suck my dick. Don't nobody want to suck on putty. We want the fucking ceramic after it comes it just, out. It does. I know it, it annoys me when y'all be like suck my dick and then y'all pull it out and then I told you it's annoying, bro. <laughs> so fucking annoying. <laughs> I mean, I can get it hard. Like, I'm not going to act like I can't get it hard. But just it being, you know, limp and gummy in my mouth, it's just never been my thing. 
it's it's, it's, it's just the weirdest feeling. It's just the weirdest. Feeling, but, <laughs> it's like chewing a lappy pappy. Like it is. It's like weird. It's like a Twizzler. Like so fucking weird. But yeah. So you you uh, know like when you're making meatballs and you gotta like play with the hamburger. Like it's like playing so, with the hamburger, but it's in your mouth. So fucking annoying. <laughs> I gotta play with the hamburger with my mouth. I don't, like that's nasty. I don't. Want, I don't want to. So what do you, what do you think that men should do? Like, what do you think they should do? They didn't say them? anything. We we can look at it. We know <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we know. Like I, I first of all, because I'm an asshole, I'm usually let out some exasperated sigh. Do you? I, yes. When I pull it out and I just be like, Whoop. I usually be like. Do not, do not, <sighs> and my dick, bitch. What the fuck? I usually let out some type of sigh of like, do not my sigh at my dick, bitch. <laughs> like this, like for real. You've been rubbing on my titties for twenty minutes, and this is what I got to work with for the next ten. Yeah, yo, I mean, your dick should be hard if you was eating my pussy or some shit. Like, your dick wouldn't be hard. Listen, I don't know. I ain't got one. Hey, I, look that. I don't have one either. I get, I, you know, I just know I've never uttered the word make me see mommy. Like, I've just, I've never had to instruct you to help yeah, me get ready for us to have sex together. You gotta make it wet. You just gotta get it wet. That's a dude. We gonna, let's just, well, I can't say that until July. I'm still going strong, bitch. Girl, it's been um, two weeks. Doesn't matter. How's that working out? What's happening with that? Uh, October 30th was. It'll be two months in two weeks. Okay, so you still you still on your thing? You still not? Yep. Yep. <sighs> Girl, pay me my I money. don't have any prospects. Let's start there. Maybe when I get a prospect. I'll reconsider, but it's it's really easy right now. Are you talking to nobody? Are you, are you dating? Are you on dating apps? Are you talking to men in your DMs? What so I was on, I I, <laughs> I went back into Black BLK because I was like, damn, I forgot I left like five people on red. <laughs> um, <laughs> One of them could be your fucking husband. Why are you leaving niggas on? I here? know. I just really hate date naps because I never meet anybody off date naps. I know people actually go on dates. I never get that far. So I started talking to this one guy who I thought was super dope and the conversation was cool. I logged back in the next day. He has deleted me. And I'm like, damn, I didn't even say any ignorant shit yet. <laughs> like, he was mad. What was he bad? I don't know. I was, I, I thought shit was cool. Um, but nope, he, he deleted me and I was like, all right, that's fine. Um, and then I was talking to this other guy. What did I tell you? He told me he was being funny. See, this is the thing about guys. I get this a lot. Cause they'd be like, you, you be so serious. I don't know y'all well enough to understand your humor. So I would like for most guys, this is just from a lot of women, save that humor shit until we get to really know you because early on it comes off very fucking weird so first text message he sends me he's like hey how are you i'm like i'm good um he's like what you doing i'm like nigga working it's like one o'clock on a wednesday i'm working and he said yeah you know we got to work to pay the bills but you know um if you act right i'll i'm gonna pay your bills for you if i act right <laughs> yeah girl you, you don't even know me <laughs> Bitch, my vagina went. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I gotta go. <laughs> if I act right, okay. okay. And I, I guess because I didn't say anything for like a day, he would text me back. He was like, "You know, I was just playing, right?" I don't know you. I don't, I don't know if you're just playing or not. So. Um, he's been texting me and I've just been leaving it on red. Uh, again, because I don't know you. I don't know your sense of humor. Y'all, and this this happens a lot with like some of the guys I talk to. They they be trying to be funny too early. Oh, I be funny too, bitch. I am a sad, so I'm coming for all of that shit. Leave me alone until you get to, till we can understand each other's humor. Because when I crack the joke, bitch, you're going to cry. And then I'm the bad guy. 
<laughs> you know, then now now I'm I'll, I'm drama. Like, no, let's just be cool. Let's be cordial. Um, let's see. There's a couple of people that I still chat with on my inbox. Nobody has like put their bid in though. Everyone's keeping it very friendly. Um, so mm. So I don't know why y'all be all day dab. Just come right in and be like, bitch, I want to fuck. Oh, that's Tinder, right? Or is that? That is Tinder. Okay, okay. Wrong one. That is Tinder. That's not black. That's Tinder. So when y'all be on Tinder, do y'all be like, bitch, I want to fuck? Or not? I have not done Tinder. Ooh. I have not done Tinder. I, I Because look, I'm not even trying to be cocky. If I just want to find some random person to fuck like i could just go to my inbox and you just got a phone you just open your phone yeah like i just i don't have that there's no need to go very far right so um if i'm on a dating app i'm i'm like trying to look for whatever um because i don't necessarily put monogamy like that's <laughs> Bitch, I want to fuck. Let me like, stop saying that, ma'am. Ma'am, I would like to have like sexual my penis in your vagina. <laughs> I would like to have sexual intercourse with you. Okay? Make it hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I Yo, what? That was somebody's fucking profile. Like, <laughs> make it hard for me. Like, what a fuck. Who, wait, who said that? Who, whose ghost who line is that? And I want to know who's that, whoever just said this. Probably lying. Be, it's probably Leroy. Who? No, it's Jay. Jay. Do you ever say to women, I just want you to get it hard. Just get it hard for daddy. Do you ever say that? Yeah. <laughs> he probably do. I would like to get my penal glands moist with your esophagus. I like that. I like you gotta respect that. But nigga said, I don't have you. a problem with that. You know, I like the, the usage of vocabulary. If like See? He said, no, it's hard already. It's supposed to be like, See? who shows up to the party be like, hey, I'm here for the party, but uh, I need you to go buy the beer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jay, am I to assume if we are in in the midst of having sex, right, I'm, and your dick isn't hard, am I to assume that you are not attracted to me or that you don't want to fuck me? Am I to assume that you really don't want to do this or is it going to be one of those things where y'all or men are like, no, it's a hundred reasons and there's so much shit going on in our head at the time. And it's not even like that. I could be thinking about work or something. Like, why are you thinking about work? And <laughs> trying to bounce this ass. Like, why are, you, why are you thinking about your report you got to do in the morning and we trying to fuck? So am I to assume that you are not attracted to me or um, most? Yes, you should assume that. But if you've been drinking, maybe it could happen. Oh, because that does happen. Oh, he's whiskey right. dick. Yeah, he did. he's right. That do happen. Niggas be drinking all fucking night long and then get to the room and be like, let's fuck. And then they be like, oh, wait, <laughs> I can't fuck because my dick won't get hurt because I've been drinking all night. Like, <laughs> that's Why is that even a possibility? Me. Because like. Oh, women oh get so God. horny when we drink, and it's just like this is so unfair. Oh <laughs> my this God, is ridiculously unfair. That shit used to piss you. You want to piss me clean off? That shit used to piss me off when niggas would drink all fucking night and be like, "Yeah, let's fuck," and then you get to the room and you'd be like, "Nigga, what the fuck." <laughs> but now, especially if it's new pussy, you should be hard and ready to go. If it's new pussy, wait. So, what about if we drinking? What if it's new pussy and we've been drinking? Can I say then, like, all right, nigga? Well, how about know. just not say that shit? Like, just go. Just it's, no. a, it's, a, it's a safe face thing. It's a. It's a. I'm presenting my dick to you. I'm sorry that it's not in the best condition. So can you do me a favor and help me out because I'm giving it to you in in this particular scenario in the situation. So <laughs> I'm giving it to you. Can you do me a solid? Because it's not. <laughs> you don't know how bad I wish. I, so when I was a kid, I had this toy. It was a cat, but it was like held up by strings or whatever. And when you press the button at the bottom, the cat collapsed. <laughs> Bitch, I wish I had that cat right now so I could be like, 
<laughs> nobody wants to group like no the, I, i'm sorry i'm sorry you you came here with the limp penis i'm, I'm sorry don't whip that shit out it's not like you don't know you're not hard right so you what you want me to do excuse yourself and go to the fucking bathroom something like i don't know right you don't know okay so look this is the scenario right you and i we together we downstairs drinking at the bar at a hotel right we downstairs drinking at the bar we having a great time all right boom let's go upstairs to the hotel room we get upstairs to the room right shit good we talking we sit next to each other on the bed we touching and rubbing and kissing and you know i'm feeling you feeling so when do you want me to be like fuck my dick ain't hard let me go to the hotel. let me go to the bathroom right now why is it not hard <laughs> I don't know for whatever that we was drinking. That was a drink. lot that you just named. You like we're <laughs> kissing, we're touching, we're rolling. Oh, we're doing all of this. I, I don't think you would like to have sex. Okay, so I pull it out, right? And it's not hard. So you so now that it's out, you know what I'm saying? I gotta save face now. I gotta why are like, you pulling it out if it's not hard? That's my question. I we need a guy on here to explain why you're pulling it out if you're not ready. <laughs> I'm pulling it out because I want you to get it hard, girl. Get it hard for daddy. <laughs> Do y'all see how many? Who's here? Who's here to answer this question? <laughs> it's either Jay or Leroy. It's only it's both of them. <laughs> Not both of them. The two worst people to be in here. <laughs> it's both of them. Why, God? Why? Um yeah now we here and now my dick is out so do me a solid and sis so leroy the question is why are y'all whipping out these limp penises and you know it's not ready your, question, of your just, question is why pull it out if yeah why, why pull why it out pull a hammer out if you ain't ready to get it popping if it's not cocked and loaded <laughs> <laughs> why are you bringing an empty pistol to the fight I want you to get it ready, sis. Why are we bringing empty pistols? You ain't got no ammo. Okay, so you would rather Yo shit not oiled up. <laughs> so you would rather we kiss and we touch them. Same scenario. We go upstairs, we're at the bar drinking, and we get upstairs, we kiss and we touch and we rub it. So you'd rather me stop and be like, hold on, I gotta let me just run to the bathroom real quick. I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, maybe he's freshening up or something. Might be washing his balls. Okay, I would really maybe he's pee. peeing. Like I don't know. I mean, I do that a lot too. I'll be like, "Fuck, I got to piss." So let me let me go and then squash squash real quick before I come back. Like you might be getting ready. I have because remember, I don't know your lip. I have no clue. <laughs> so you whip it out, and that should be like. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> so you want me to go in the bathroom and try to get it hard? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what you're doing. No, I'm I'm saying is that what you want? Is that what you would you, we would rather that they do opposed to pulling it what out? What are my options? What are my options? Um, it, you you either pulling out a limp dick or you not like you either or you keep not. It in. You're not. <laughs> so what what do, what do we do with the time? Like what are we doing in the time that we kissing and touching and rubbing? But I know that I'm not hard. So what, what you're figuring you, out what you need to do to get it hard? Yes. But it involves your mouth, so what, what do you have to. <laughs> what? Do you ha how do you get hard at seven a.m. in the morning? I don't know. You probably had some freaky shit going on in your dreams. I don't know why you niggas wake up hard. I thought it was you had to pee and shit. I thought that was why. Your options are to suck a limb dick until it grows. No, I'm not. I don't want to no. I don't want to suck a limb dick until it grows, Crystal. I hate that it's the worst shit ever. It, it, just, it just really it's just not. It's, it's just, I'm trying to think of something I have ever put in my mouth to compare. <laughs> like a tam oh my god, it's like eating a tamale. You know how like it's not. Yes, because you know tamales they're not solid. They're just they're really soft, <laughs> malleable. Like <laughs> it's soft. It's just so soft, and it's just like like it's just it's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a fleshy balloon. Yeah, it's weird. It's the weirdest feeling. It's, it's the very. Worst. It's not something I want to repeat if I don't have to. 
Okay, so basically, fam got to come in. We kissing and rubbing. We kissing and touching and rubbing and sucking. We doing all that. I mean, in my <laughs> in my story, we doing all that. <laughs> you getting the fuck out of her room if you show up. You show up in her version of the story without that dick card. You gotta go. He doesn't have to go, but like I said, I'm going to be visibly upset, visibly annoyed. <laughs> I tell you, every time this happened, I'll be like, <sighs> if you, bitch, if you sigh at my dick, I'm fucking you up. <laughs> I don't know why you try to act like you when don't know the asshole. Sigh in my dick. If I pull my dick out and you sigh, bitch, I'm fucking you up. Pull your dick out and it's limp, bitch. I'm <laughs> fucking you up. So no, 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 no play doh putty over here. At least you know what? I'll go with you, Leroy. Partially erect, that's okay. Because that means that you at least are slightly excited for what's about to happen you know there's a little bit of okay i'm about to get up in this like damn i gotta do all the work oh, fuck. you know what i normally do if this if this happens to me i normally because putting it in my mouth um soft is so annoying i normally just rub it until it's hard enough to put in my mouth that's what i normally do because I cannot put it in my mouth limp. It's, yeah, it's the word. So basically what I normally do is just, you know, play with it until it gets hard enough, you know, that we can move forward. I'm hard right now because <laughs> Mickey got curly hair. Didn't I tell you? They'd be like, <laughs> I like your style. I'm, I'm See, hard because like, I'm breathing. Anything. Like, that's why I'd be like, wait, really? We men get hard at the smallest thing, so all that should have had you hard quickly and without issue. Yeah, that's true. But we also talked about the men who, like, like I said, who drink all fucking night, and you know what I'm saying. What you call the whiskey dick? Whiskey who drink dick. all fucking night, and then you know what I'm saying. It's time to fuck, and they can't because they've been drinking all fucking night. So, um, yeah, we also have those. But look, <laughs> in a perfect world, everybody is prepared. So I'm just going to make sure the next time when July comes, after post-July, um, if I run into somebody that tells me to make it hard, I will make sure my shit feels like sandpaper. <laughs> they don't deserve the pussy. Y'all are fucking harsh, man. Damn. Y'all are harsh. Whiskey for me. Okay, nigga, come. Um, who who said they don't deserve the pussy? Which one of y'all? That was Jay. <laughs> well, damn, Jay. I really hope that you've never had or will never have a bad night. Like, ain't no such thing as a bad night. Ain't no such thing as a. Oh man, why I'm can't? Happy. But why can't like I don't mind putting things off until people are in a better position, like. I don't know about most women. It's seriously not that fucking hard for me to, to be like, Ooh. like it doesn't take much. Like, so you, you want to take a step back? I did give me a minute. I wouldn't be mad if you needed a minute. I wouldn't. I'd be mad if I had to put this fucking Play-Doh in my mouth. What about if if he said, you know what I'm saying? My bad, Not something's going on, not tonight. Can we try again for another night? I wouldn't be excited, but I would understand that. Why you giving pussy to depressed niggas? <laughs> Death that sorrows that they can't get hard. <laughs> I have no idea who said that. <laughs> Probably Leroy. I mean, listen, I'm just a very understanding lover. I mean, I'm going to tell you why. Because one time I had sex with this dude and it was the... I'm not gonna say it was the worst, but it just wasn't. It just wasn't. It just wasn't all that, right? And then maybe like a year later, he was like, "Yeah, you know, come, come see me or some shit." And that nigga blew my shit out. So ever since then, I've been like, "Nigga, sometimes what about first time jitters and all that shit? Like sometimes that shit really be, you know, what I'm saying a true, true thing. It be a real thing." Nah, not Mickey, I guess. <laughs> Mickey, 
Like, fuck that. I ain't giving you no second chance. But that's why I always, you know what I'm saying, try to give some a little bit of understanding in those situations. First time clitters. <laughs> Sorry. So if you fuck up the first time, ain't no, ain't no more times for you. No, I gave um the last person that I dealt with for multiple months. The first time was just kind of man, and I and the yeah. place that he he knew he was like, "What you think?" And I was like, "What would you think?" He's like, "I know it wasn't the best." And then <laughs> I'm mad, boy. Yeah, I'm like, "What do you think?" No, what do you think? No, what do you think? Like, like mm. but um. But yeah, like I gave him a second chance and like that shit was pretty, pretty fucking good until we stopped talking to each other. So, but it wasn't limp, you know, like it wasn't, <laughs> 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 it wasn't fucking limp. <laughs> I gotcha. I feel you. But yeah, uh, I don't know if y'all just got to say it. I think just saying it makes the situation worse like like mickey said we can see it like we know <laughs> yeah i know like we know that it needs some work so i guess you don't have to say you gotta mm -hmm. make him hard you gotta get him hard <laughs> i told you i swear i'd be like really you gotta <laughs> get him hard what you Why? gonna do to get him hard what you <laughs> Bruh, I'm on this shit for real. Like, oh God, you know, I feel like such sandpaper up there. Like, you gotta get her wet. <laughs> Definitely gonna start saying that. Definitely. And look, and look how they look at you when you say it. It's like, what? You nah, they go, they go, men love that shit. They love challenging ass shit. They be like, they're gonna be like, so work? Great. Let me go. Move. <laughs> you wasn't wet from all that touching I was doing. Whiskey. I had so much whiskey tonight. <laughs> make me so dry <laughs> some niggas just eat it and get it hard most niggas eat it and get it hard true <laughs> I, I love an enthusiastic vagina eater <laughs> <laughs> they're like because they're just like so excited about it i'm like you know what all right you know it's not like my number one thing so when i meet guys who are enthusiastic about it i'm like good for you i can get into this so you be like, I'm going to fuck you. And they're enthusiastic about it? For the most part. Yeah. There was that one guy in college that I was just like, oh, hell no. Um, but he was extremely enthusiastic about it. But he was a no. You know what's interesting about that point about um, a lot of niggas be hard because, you know, they eat pussy. The niggas that are not um, as enthusiastic about eating pussy, like the niggas who don't like it as much them niggas usually never have a problem with being hard like can you think back to the niggas that wasn't so enthusiastic about it like think about like that they they very rarely show up to the party not hard even though they not as enthusiastic about eating pussy so i mean i guess they get they hard from some fucking where else because it's not from eating pussy i may have only interacted with two people my entire life that weren't enthusiastic about it so in that in your experience can you be like can you say like yeah them niggas still always even though they wasn't really that much into, into eating pussy they still showed up to the party you know yeah I can, I can agree with you on that though like they were yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, like y'all got y'all hard from because it wasn't from that <laughs> 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 it definitely was not from that Dudes that eat pussy get hard. Dudes that eat pussy to get hard should scare you. Why? Why? It's really interesting. All the comments do not show up on Facebook. My point is I'm not hard just because you pulled out the tits. Yeah, so that's what men were explaining to me today. I'm like, yeah, y'all just, I mean, don't be hard. It was like, no, girl, we 40 years old. Ain't nobody hard from no regular Ooh. shit. <laughs> well, since we're bringing up tits and shit, let me just tell y'all, a lot of us don't get wet from y'all fucking sucking on our titties either. <laughs> Stop that shit. <laughs> Look at us coming to understanding. You don't get hard when I pull the tits out. I don't get wet when you suck on the bitches. Definitely not. Y'all be y'all really be having a blast though, but definitely not. <laughs> Ain't shit happening down there. I suck on my titties. Why? I have all this vagina. Why are we? Why are we? 
why are we playing with titties if I have all this vagina? It's just always been a question for so me. So much happening in other places, though. Like, how oh, would you well, be stuck on this shit for an hour? Wow. <laughs> 40 years old. Fam, I got 40 years of shit. Leave these titties alone. I got way too much vagina. Too much. First of all, I'm tired. So we need to hurry up and get this in so I can go to sleep. <laughs> how many nerves are in the clip? It's several thousand. Four thousand? Some thousand. It's crazy because the clit has more nerves than the head of a penis. Thank you. Um, y'all titties, y'all rubbing nipples and shit all day. Knock it off. I can't, I can't look on this computer. I'm using the laptop from work. <laughs> it was like four thousand. Some absurd. But yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a huge amount. Or people would be neglecting that shit. <laughs> shit is important. Don't neglect the clit. A man should need no kick start if he loves women. Okay, 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 okay. Um, stop giving away trade secrets. Who giving away secrets? Yeah, I just, I just try to grab, I just try to grab the dick and do what I can. You know what I'm saying? Try to get it as hard as I can to get to what we got to get to because we got shit to do. TikTok. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got work to do. People got kids and jobs and shit. Like we cannot be up. We just don't have the time. We just simply don't have the time. But yeah, I remember um, speaking to someone who wasn't an enthusiastic vagina eater. My boyfriend in college, I don't think I told this story on the show. So he, um, oh, I was so mad because he did not come to my graduation. But he called me. He was like, hey, I know you're graduating tomorrow. I got us a bottle. I'm about to drive up from Chicago and spend the night with you. And I'm like, I have to graduate in the morning. Like, my parents are going to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, in college, when you graduate, you are also moving out the that same, same day. day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, my parents are going to be here tomorrow. We're going to dinner. And then after that, I got to pack it. all this shit up. And he was just like, nah, fuck all that. I'm, I'm coming up there. I'm going to come up there to see you. So I was already fucking annoyed that he was coming up to see me, right? So he gets up there. And this is the alcoholic. So he, he's already drunk before he got there. So I was just like, he gets up there like midnight, 11 o'clock midnight. So we get upstairs and this man, so because um, graduations after school is over, nobody is on the floor. I think I was like the only senior <laughs> that was still in the fucking dorm. So nobody was on the floor but me. He gets up there at midnight and this man wants to have sex. I'm not even lying from like midnight to like four o'clock in the morning. Jesus. I have never been so fucking annoyed. Like, girl, he wanted to go to the boys' showers. So we fucked in the, <laughs> this is crazy. We fucked in the boys' bathroom, in the shower. There was, there was Hershey's chocolate everywhere on my sheets and shit. Like it was, we were all over the fucking, there was liquor everywhere. And I'm like, yo, I have to get up in three fucking, three fucking hours. Oh wrap this shit up right you know so i was what 21 when i graduated i'm really not doing that shit at 41 wrap this shit up for real for real and in reference to that question what do you do if you, if you lose moisture that's really the only time where i don't be as wet is if we've been attempting to try and have sex for like some absurd ass I'm amount of time like Nigga. I definitely lost moisture. We stopped. I was. I had to stop. I was like, "This shit yeah, is burning." Yeah, that shit's gonna burn. Like, it burns. Shit, like we got. Just go and done. Like, bro, how long we trying to fuck? It's been an hour and a half. Like, that's really the only time I lose moisture. But nigga, after that, I just stopped. Like, no, nah, we just we not doing that no more. Yeah, we I think the only time I've ever stopped was moisture, and if we've been fucking so long that my shit starts to swell up a little bit. And I'd be like, no, actually, now it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> I know it probably feels great for you because the shit is swole. <laughs> but it's yes, actually right, yeah. extremely painful. So get the fuck off of me. Um, but yeah, I had to tell him, like, because I, I lost moisture. <laughs> that might have been why we got in the shower now that I think yeah, about I had to tell it. Him I lost some moisture. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, that's really the only time that happens to me. As if we just trying to fuck for way too long. Because sometimes you niggas can last. Y'all either can last 30 seconds or three hours. It's like no fucking in between. No in between. Like, come on. 
It's no in between, but yeah. Okay. Well, now that we've covered everything. 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 Did you have anything else? Are we back next week? I know it's the holiday. I know it's the... Um, um, let's see. Because if I know me, I will still be um, Christmas shopping next week. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't shit. So we will see if I will still be running into... I gotta find... My sister wants like some gold... No, metallic strappy heels. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's for sis. It's for sis. You gotta do what you gotta do. So we will see. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, um, did you have anything else? No, no questions from the peanut gallery. The peanut gallery have provided us with all type of commentary this evening. I would like to thank these gentlemen. Shout out to the two of y'all for interacting with us. I know there's more people on here because we can see the number. Where is it? It's over here. We can see there's more than two people in here. Lou but it's all right. Here. Um, she probably uh, you know, Lou would be, be busy. Of but, course. Um, the Vixens always practice safe sex. Of course. What do you mean? Well, definitely. Are, are condoms taboo. No, they just make you not as wet. Like they they take away the the moisture sometimes. True, they do. Yeah, they take away the moisture sometimes. They of course, do. the vixen the vixens practice safe sex all the time. But yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe on YouTube, the Vixen Memoirs Podcast on YouTube. Um, hit us up on Instagram, follow us, like us, subscribe with us, do all of that. If you have any questions, concerns, stories, anecdotes, hit us up at askavixen at gmail.com. And then for whatever reason, we are not in here next week. Make sure y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful holiday. A very yes. lovely Christmas. Are um, Lance and Tiff here tomorrow? Um, I don't I don't think so. He said he may or may not do a show tomorrow, so I don't think so. Oh, it's just we're the only show this week. Thanks for <laughs> out with us, guys. <laughs> and whoever's selling J Law to hit, don't hit J Law up, okay? Because the only fuckery could come from that. Like there's That's no Leroy. Good thing. That's not <laughs> no, no the two of them together. No one yeah. needs the two of y'all to link up. It's not necessary. <laughs> No one we'll needs y'all to, to, to link up. But um, thank y'all as always for joining us, kicking it with us again. And if God willing, we will see y'all next week. Bye.